Understanding the news in English, number two. Understanding the news in English can be a challenging but fun learning experience because you can learn loads of colloquial expressions and vocabulary. Let's try to understand three newspaper headlines from the news recently. Let's start with a headline from the Daily Mirror on an all too familiar problem in relation to the NHS, which is the National Health Service in the UK. A great granddad is a grandfather's father or a father's grandfather when used from the perspective of the youngest relative. A and D is the abbreviation for the Accident and Emergency Hospital Department in the UK. In informal English, the verb to slam means to criticise someone or something severely. This verb is more commonly found in newspaper language. The adjective rubbish means terrible or useless and describes the poor quality of the system or National Health Service. It has been written with quotation marks because this is the word used by the angry family. So, in simple terms, one family severely criticised the NHS because their relative had to wait for a really long time in the emergency department. This headline from The Guardian is about drunk British people abroad, which means they are on holiday in a foreign country, in this case in the Spanish Balearic Islands. In informal spoken or written English, we use Brits as a short form for Britons or British people. The tabloid newspapers normally use this more colloquial form. Boozy is a colloquial adjective that means drunk, and it comes from booze, which is alcohol. A bill is a written document which contains a proposal for a new law, and to pass a bill means to approve it. The bill is targeting or aimed at controlling these drunk holiday makers. Here's a headline from the world of football taken from the Daily Star, which is a tabloid newspaper. Once you understand this headline, you'll realise that the article isn't actually that interesting, but the language is very typical of English newspapers. As people expect Real Madrid to win every match they play, when they lose, it is considered a shock, which means unexpected or surprising. In this case, a surprising defeat in the league. Here the writer uses Real Madrid shock league loss. This form is used more often in newspaper headlines and written English, instead of saying Real Madrid's shock league loss. The striker is the forward or most attacking position on the football pitch, and he scored the winning goal. It's stunning, meaning strikingly beautiful or attractive in appearance. WAG, which is an acronym for wives and girlfriends, used to name the wife or girlfriend of a famous sportsman, was cheering on from the crowd to celebrate his goal. If you want to learn British English with me, hit the subscribe button to join the community and take your English to the next level.